Hi folks, welcome back to another exciting episode of Yomo. This is the Year of Magical Learning Podcast. So today we're finally trying, we're finally trying to wrap up uh, part two of two of the book, The Obstacle is Away, The Timeless Art of Turning Trials into Tri- Triumphs by Ryan Holiday. Part two of two, here we go. Let's do it. Um, so we already talked about part one, um, and that was uh, I, can, I Can't Imagine, right? And that was turning mm-hmm. your I Can't Imagines into I Can't Imagines, right? And that's the obstacle is the way sometimes, you know. Um, uh, we won't rehash that, but that we whole did, conversation. We, we, we have established that it is not. Yeah, right. It, no, <laughs> yes, correct. Uh, uh, but th- so this this particular reflection, um, I actually thought I was, I didn't want to write two reflections for this one, but something kept sticking in my brain that I could not get out of it. And so I had to write about it. That's what, that's how this works, right? It's a, it's a year of magical learning. So when you're, when you're, when you're thinking about something and it's on your mind and you're, you're, you're learning, um, you know, put it out there. Right. So I did a second part reflection on this one. And um, the title is what will be revealed when you are sliced open. Um, so uh, uh, this, we kind of touched on this in the first one. I don't know. If, I mean, I, I didn't go too deep and I actually forgot that I even wrote this as the second one. Um, Cause when we were just having a conversation about it, I started to, to explain this to you, but um, uh, you know, I wanted, I w- thought I would have been remiss if, if I did not just spend time talking about Ryan holiday, the author in general um, uh, in a second part reflection here, um, Ryan is just like a perfect example. Of somebody out there is just living his values and his purpose and he's on a mission uh, and he's fully engaged in the world. Like there's a, um, there's an, um, uh, I told you last time too, I was like, Ryan, if they're, if they're, whether he knows it or not, is an honorary club or club any member. Um, uh, <laughs> he's, he is exactly, you know, the people that we want to be around and people that are, that are purpose-driven, uh, that understand their re- learners, like all the, a lot of the values that, 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 uh, that you and I, you know, the club and is based off of like Ryan <laughs> would be a would be a 12 out of 10 on, on like, you know, a cultural fit from, for what we're trying to do in general. And, um, and I, and you could tell it in his writing because he, he referenced so many different books and the obstacle is the way about sources that were, you know, of inspiration for him and lessons that he learned and how he's applying that to his own thought and ideology and thought process and yada, yada, yada. Right. So very similar to, you know, to what we're doing right here, right. You know, we're, we're talking about books and we're learning stuff and we're sharing, mm-hmm. you know, how, how we interpret this and how, how it's informing our, you know, view on life. Um, well, Ryan, um, uh, I, I, because I love audiobooks, um, I, I did this one as an audio book and there was like a bonus, um, like, a interview with, uh, Tim Ferriss, uh, that, that, uh, interviewed, um, Brian holiday at the end of this. And they just did like a question and, and answer session. I guess Tim Ferriss is like a mentor of Ryan Holiday's. I, I've never actually read a Tim Ferriss book, even though I've heard his name a million times. But um, have, have you read a Tim Ferriss book? Mm, five hour work week. Yeah, that, that that's the guy, right? The five hour work week guy. Yep. Um, uh, so I don't know much about Tim in general, but I know that he's been brought up many times in many different authors that I've that I've consumed as somebody that was an inspirational person and you know, maybe I should read this book. So like, I mean, like, to be fair, like, um, uh, I just, I, I haven't, I haven't gone down the Tim Ferriss, you know, path yet at this point in time. So Ryan apparently, um, is a, a mentee of, of Tim's. Um, I guess they met when, when Ryan was like really young, uh, like in like, his, like teenage, maybe early in college, like a freshman or sophomore or something like that in college. And, and he asked him, how can I like, you know, learn from you and, and, you know, be, it help you research or something like that, whatever. And for whatever reason, they hit it off and they, um, uh, you know, he, he allowed Ryan to, to help him, um, you know, with some of his, his work and in turn, they've stayed connected and, um, you know, he's helped him grow. And Ryan has, um, obviously grown into his own, you know, thing himself. And, and, uh, and he's a really successful author now himself. Um, so Tim was doing this interview with Ryan anyway. So the book, um, like I said, he he mentioned so many different sources in the book, and and I was already getting a lot of ideas of things that I wanted to go check out, and you know, saving things in my my Audible wish list or my Amazon wish list, and uh, mm-hmm. um and and then they're doing this interview afterwards, and I and I learned way more about Ryan Holiday, the author, obviously just through this conversation. This guy is like a rabid learner, um, and he doesn't just learn to like put another book trophy on his shelf or something like that. Like he is he is exactly like what we're doing. He just is like, I'm curious about stuff. 
I want to know more. I, I have a I have a, a mission and, and a, a, a lens in life um, and values that I want to go explore. And he just he just keeps churning out book after book after book after book. Wherever he goes, he reads, he does whatever. This isn't to say that this is right or wrong. I'm just saying like this is why I feel so connected personally to to Ryan Holiday as he's you know talking more and more about this stuff. So in this in this bonus audio section, I learned more about Ryan's life, the stuff that he does every single day. He does like you know ice baths. He's a runner. He does all you know like I mean he's it, it was almost like Jesus Christ. Like he's you know he's like he's absolutely a, a you know I, I was having a, a bromance just listening to this guy you know and and <laughs> and talking about talking about what he does in his life. Um, and and this and and also in this audio interview with Tim, he uh, he shared so many other books that he's been reading and learning in his life that have inspired him. That you know, um, uh, and and lessons that he's learned and how he's applied it to other stuff that he does. And he just kept going on and on and on about different books. And I was like, oh my god, I'm like eating this up. Like I'm like I'm like oh, I got to save this one. I bought this one. I bought this one. I saved this one. I bought this one. They were all like really really interesting books that I was just my 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 Audible library and my wish list was just like growing like leaps and bounds. Just like listening to this one hour or 45 minute interview with Ryan and Tim. And, uh, um, and during that interview, he mentioned, um, on his website, ryanholiday.net, um, uh, this, this reading list thing, right. You know, and I, I somehow stumbled my way onto here mm -hmm. and, you know, he, he, he has all these different books, um, that he recommends and he categorizes them into, you know, fiction, nonfiction, whatever, some other examples. And he has like a little blurb about what he learned and what he liked about it. It's not just like, hey, here's this reading list. It's going to change your life or here's some silver bullet or whatever. It's like, here's just a book. Here's what, here's something I learned. If you like it, you know, go after it. If you don't, I don't really give a shit. Like, you know, but I, I'm just sharing what I know. You know, he's, he's doing what we talked about in the hero's journey. Just share the elixir, right? You know, he's, uh, he's just doing his best to, to help, you know, to help other people to become explorers like himself and, and, uh, you, you know, be a rabid learners and, yada, yada, yada. And then he starts to like categorize all these things into um, uh, once you get through like all the whatever his favorite reads of 43 books about war that every man should read or 24 books to, to hone your strategic mind or 24 fiction books that can change your life. And, you know, he, he just starts to connect them all together. Right. Like we do this with the core values quest and with, you know, there's a lot of times when I when I, you know, people ask me for recommendations, I ask them, well, what do you want? Like, it's like Ryan's a personal library, you know, <laughs> like he's like, mm -hmm. well, you tell me, like, what are you curious about? Oh, uh, I'd love to learn more about, um, you know, how the human body works. Oh, okay. Well, great. Well, here's 10 books. I was seven. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Section five. <laughs> like, it's like he, go, he goes into his own little memory palace and he's like, oh, brr, you know, here you go. Here's, here's some, here's some really good books that I personally learned from. And if you can gain from it, go for it. You know, he's like your personal um, blockbuster video guy, you know, like, you know, you just walk in and you're like, I don't know what I want to see. And they're like, well, you know, what do you what do you what are you emotionally in the mood for or whatever and they just ask you questions and then they you know spin out we should go check out this video this video and this video you know and you're like this is great um so this is this is kind of like ryan holiday sounds like, sounds like a, a life semi uh, summer yay <laughs> exactly this is exactly what it is uh this, this is just all the books that he read the very best books that he read in 2015 right i don't know why he stopped doing it after 2015 but um uh, howard hughes his life in, in madness uh what was the the score takes care of itself by Bill Walsh, you know, uh, and then, you know, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just a perfect, like, if you want some recommendations from somebody that's like a trusted source, you know, that cares. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing is like, we talked about this with like soul in the game many a times before in the past, you know, like Ryan has his soul in the game. And uh, um, at one point in time in the book, this is where the reflection title comes in. He says, um, you know, uh, uh, shared a, he shared a quote in the obstacle is the way like, you know, what would be revealed when you're sliced open. Right. Well, after, after, reading this book after listening to Ryan, after investigating his life and on this stuff and, you know, and what, what he does and what he doesn't do. I know exactly what would be revealed when, when Ryan, I I've, I'm pretty confident, like we're all going to get sliced open at some point in time in our life. Right. Like you and I, you know, both were sliced open before we met um, uh, in, in our own unique ways. Right. And, uh, um, and, and that's when, that's when the real shit, that's who you are comes out. That's when your character comes out, you know? Um, and, uh, and when you start to see, you know, your, your elephant, just does whatever your elephant does. Right. And, um, and like, you can't control that, but like you can train it. You can, you can do your best to train your elephant and you can, you can, you can try to simulate this stuff. Yeah. There's a certain thing to... you can train. There's a certain thing. There's, there is a limit to what you can train the elephant to do. Right. Um, so there is a range that, Hey, I can be persuaded or influenced in one way or another, but 
majority of the time, it elephants are fit based on its genetic uh, makeup. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And like, it made me think about Amelia, like all this journey usually does, but like, I saw what was revealed when she was sliced open, you know, and, and she was one of the most purpose driven people that I've will ever come across. I mean, in my entire mm -hmm. life. And, and it's just, when you see people like Ryan and you see people like Amelia um, and, and you see them live in their life and, and it's just like this magnetic draw that, um, you know, that, that pulls you in, you know, and you're like, you're like, I, I, it's just, it's, I don't know. I, I, I think, and like I say, you know, that's why I'm saying is, you know, the elephant majority of its traits and character, you cannot change. Right. And the no, reason yeah. why I, I think you and I, um, can relate to some of these, um, you know, the, the, I guess the emotion that evoke when you, when you look at Amelia's life, right? And even Ryan's life, you know, what he does, we can relate to because deep down those, those genes that we have in common, it's there. Yeah. So that's why, that's why, yeah. that's why we, 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 we can relate to this. Hey, we, we can say, well, that evokes an emotion with me. And that gets me, you know, kind of like really energized to 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 make something to change something that 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 we you kind of, it kind of wakes us up in in a way, right? You know what I mean? Because if 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 you don't have that gene, there's no way you can relate. There's no way you can say, well, yeah, I'm gonna wake up. You know, how would you connect to that kind of feelings or emotions? Right, right, yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. I, I I I totally agree with you. Um, it's it's um, it's it's always there, you know. I we, we've talked about this before too. Like, I don't think that I'm a different human being after. I'm the I'm still the same person. I just know who I am now better. Um, uh, you are more you are more Chris today than than the Chris before. Yeah, Amelia. I'm Chris on purpose. Like, I mean, like it's it's no. You know, you are the true Chris that was put on earth for that purpose. It's just right. that in, in my opinion, is that when, when you were born, like when Amelia was born, you have a purpose and you are untainted. And then over many years, you have been conditioned to become something that is not Chris. Or or you fight it. I mean so yeah. so you pretend not to be Chris. Right. You well, want I mean, you want to eat the yes frog. No. Well, the you're, thing you're, is, I'm, you're, you're I'm, confused. I'm it's a, it's a, well, it's that's a, what I'm saying is, I, 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 this is what I'm saying is, let's say you were born, right? Let's say, put put an experiment. You were born in one environment, and then another another parallel universe. You were born in a different environment. You turn out completely different. Why mm -hmm. is that? It's because your environment changes you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right. So, so it's 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 the covering. It's like you're being covered in layers of certain things. You are looking for, for you know, the grits and and the grinds and and the the, um, you know, the panic attack. You know, why do you have panic att attacks? I mean, you tell me why you have a panic attack because you are you are forging down a path that your elephant yeah. say, you know, That's I forcing. hate this path, yeah. right? Right. right? That's why I have a panic right. attack. So it's not the Chris. When I say Chris, meaning the Chris that, that, you know, I don't know what you want to say, but God put you down here for sure. a certain reason. Like when, when Amelia came to earth, right? She is Amelia. She is not Amelia being conditioned or being right. wrapped in environment, uh, you know, expectations of whatnot. You, yeah. on the other hand, when you were born, you were just like Amelia. But over time, you've been covered in this crust of, of, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's crust of society, you know, norms and conditions and, and, and dogma, whatever it is. It just completely right. wrapped you over. And that's like, hey, there's Chris inside of this thing somewhere, but the whole right. thing isn't Chris. So whenever the atomic bomb hits, the only thing you're doing is you're just peeling off the layers that was encrusted all, all, on, you know, on, on, on this shell. You, you, so, so you basically not changing who you are. You're just unveiling who you are, because yeah. like, like for me, that's why that's why I, I commented in the beginning. Yeah, I agree. When 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 you have a certain genetic trait, 
your elephant do not change. There is a certain range that allows you to 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 make modifications and change. It's just like a like a a, a lever where you say, hey, you know, I go from zero levels to uh, ten, you know, eight level, ten level, whatever. Yeah, there's a lever of of things you can you can you can you know modify and and change the input. But majority of your trait do not change. You can pretend to change, but right. it isn't going to change. Because the thing is, <laughs> you can say, "Hey, true, true. I <laughs> really like true. your, I really like your philosophy. You should be a fucking leader. You should be a manager, right?" I said, "Yeah, I like to be a manager, right?" But I fucking hate my job until the right. point where I say, "I don't fucking care anymore." So I'm saying, "Well, I don't want to be a leader." Oh, I feel good now. So the thing is, it never changes me. It doesn't matter how many how many years I've been in this leader shit. Because right. thing is, is as long as I fool myself into thinking that's what I want, then I say, well, that's what I want. I want to be, you know, the the uh, the you know the best manager, the best leader that the world has ever seen. But on my deathbed, when nothing else matters, right? Well, that is not worth the time. Because okay. on my yeah, deathbed, right. and I say, well, I, I don't want to be a leader anymore. I want to do something. But if you are who you really are, even on your best bed, deathbed, you say, well, I like to do a little bit more leadership. Right. And that's who you are. Because if yeah. you say, you know, in the last minute, okay, I don't want to, I want to, I want to take a break. I don't want to do leadership anymore. That's not right. who you are. You just pretending that's yeah. who you are. And you lie to yourself enough that you hold on to that lie. And to me, that is what impresses us. I, I agree. It's it's not being connected to your to your to your elephant. Um, so you basically uh, just yeah. you know you you basically washes your, your yourself the, sh- the your shell yeah. out of all this mud encrusted, dry <laughs> whatever it is off of yeah. yourself, and you revealing yourself to people. Right. Right. Yeah, because I, like, yeah. because when, when 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 you 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 get to the point where the thing is you you have to understand that you know you and I what like what I say when when we first meet people right we we put on this public appearance hey i'm this nice person i'm not angry blah blah blah, right but it is hard to deep that but when you and i know each other long enough you know me enough that i tell you straight i don't i don't worry about hurting your feeling you know what i mean because i can tell you and to me that is i'm at peace at that that's who i am that's a person who i am right same thing with you when when you meet somebody you 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 don't want you kind of like threat lightly to to make sure that you don't offend them right oh yeah but no when, I, I i don't want to be like i mean you're you're you're, you're making me chuckle because i um uh, when you're when, as you're talking all i can think about is is um is two things um first one is i've tried in the past i've told you this before where i've tried to shut up where i just like literally just i'm like okay you're talking too much just shut the fuck up like for the next like two days try to not talk you know, and then it maybe you and, and and it never works. Like people think that there's something. People think that I'm like, like something's wrong with me or something. Like literally something's wrong. Really with wrong. Me. Uh, um, and then secondly, you made me think about like, uh, or for sorry, with that same thought, you made me think about zooming forward to like my deathbed, where I'm like, I'm gonna try to be really stoic. You know, I'm like, that's not gonna be me. I'm gonna be bitching no. all the way in to the to the finish line, where I'm gonna be like, this motherfucking thing iv is a motherfucking like you know i'll just be cussing saying stupid shit like because like, that's that's how and, i am like, and I mean, you're gonna not, leave with a smile on your face right exactly i don't i don't care like i'm not trying to be mr stoicism you know or something like that like ryan holiday is that's not who i but, am you but, know stoicism yeah. is the way to go <laughs> right. blah 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 you can't and that's sustain okay that. so you can't so, sustain i'm i'm not saying might. anything yeah. about anyone i'm just saying right. is you gotta be who you are. Otherwise, exactly, you right. cannot continue to be t- to do that. You it, cannot carry on percent. doing that, right? <laughs> Eventually, it, it it's hurts. gonna it's, it's gonna get exhaustive. And, and and the point is, what's the point of enduring something for somebody else's sake? Why are you being stoic? You're being stoic I, for the stoic, uh, you know? Uh, because somebody said it was a, a good a good. I mean, the thing is, there, 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 there are certain. The thing is, we live. In today's society, we live for other people. Because uh, I buy a brand new house, I buy a car, right? Why am I buying a car? It's because fucking neighbor bought a car. Because my friend makes a car. My wife said, hey, and you know. Uh, we, just bought, we just bought a Tesla. You know, my, 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 my cousin's <laughs> sister, brother-in-law, co-worker has yeah. a Tesla. Why don't you have a Tesla? So why do I fucking buy a Tesla? 
It is for someone know. else. It's not for me. I, and I to know. me, that's exhaustive. I cannot continue to do this. I can. Pre- let's say, like I told you, it wasn't my car though. To be fair, we have we have we have a a <laughs> a, a public face and a private uh, face, meaning a, a public um um demeanor and a private well, it's, the public it's, one it's the, it's the, the public one don't, the, don't forget the public two, the one you are reserved right you reserve yeah. and you don't and the thing is you think about it it's exhaustive yeah. to be going in a public and, and especially for me because i'm an introvert i hate to pretend so to pretend it takes a lot of energy even for you chris you love to talk to people but when you talk to people that you 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 don't know too too much right you have to be more like you have to do to watch what you say okay <laughs> or or when i'm talking about shit that i don't care about like i i, I i'm a huge yeah asshole. Like, yeah so, so so the thing is whenever you get to the you get to the to meeting be, the first scary. people is if you don't want to say whatever comes to your mind right yeah i want, I want to say shut because, the fuck up, because, I don't care. because you have you have to you have to kind of like read the room and and kind of uh, radical candor Ra- radical candor right even fucking radical <laughs> candor is like well I'm, I, know, I know all right but i'm saying is you doing something that's not natural so whenever you do that i'm asking you if you had to do that all the fucking time how long can you keep it up oh i mean until i have a, a break because when, when yeah. you go and talk to yeah. me or you talk to blake or somebody who you really know well or your or your friend you know you can say whatever you want. Whatever comes to your mind, you can say, right. hey, you can be a doofus and people are going to laugh at you. But that's that's because we are so comfortable with ourselves and with the people that we trust. And to mm-hmm. me, that's liberating and that takes no energy. It's actually energizing for us. But you have to pretend in the in the, in the public demeanor. It is exhausting. You, you, I can't, for me, it's, I have a very low tolerance. So I can't keep up too long of that appearance. You but, probably can, but even for you, Chris, uh, it's mean, going. It's it's going to take. It's going to get to the point where you're gonna say, "Well, I can't take this anymore. I have to go back to my hotel, my room, whatever, and just not pretend to care about something I don't care about." Yes, I, I, right, I was, yeah, uh, no, yeah, it's, it, I can't do it. I mean, like it's, it's a, uh, it, or it's exhausting. I mean, it's, 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 it's exhausting. It's exactly what you said. It's just it. It's just how much how much fatigue are you want to put up with, you know, until you break down. Because and, because yeah. all that time you're gonna have to keep uh, like a, a little monitor to to check on yourself. Hey, don't 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 say anything stupid. Don't say anything offensive. Don't say right. don't say fuck. Don't say shit. Right? <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's like it's you not have gonna to last. Watch. And and yeah. that and that guy that's watching it, it needs to be fed. With some mm-hmm. kind of energy, right? Eventually, <laughs> you're running out of things to feed him, <laughs> to watch, I to, to have him watch you, and then remind you, "Hey, Chris, don't be a fucking asshole," <laughs> right? But when you with me, no. you can be whatever. You don't need this guy, right? You say whatever okay. comes to your mind, and <laughs> who give a shit? And, and the thing is, no one, no one does. But that's yeah. the thing is, when you truly who you are, it feels good. Right? It does. It, I mean, it just it just feels natural. It feels aligned. It feels it feels, um, you know, yeah, it feels like we're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And it feels, it feels, it feels effortless is what it feels like. When you, so that's when what I'm saying are, is you when, know, you yeah. slice, when you slice, when you go and get sliced open, hmm? are you who you are? Are you yeah, just like, are, 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 are basically is I'm seeing this crust and I right. slice you are, it's something different inside. Right. Yep. Right? I mean, it, and, and what comes out of that is usually exactly who you are. The, uh, I mean, it's, like, it's, 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 it's like uh, thinking of being, being breaded. You know, you know how right. how people like breaded chicken and fry them yeah. up. You think about yourself being breaded with with cover with something and just marinated yeah. sauce or or garlic parmesan oh, yeah. or whatever. No, that's, <laughs> I think that's a, I think that's a really good visual, honestly. I mean, because it's like, what flavor are you? Right, the inside is in the flavor of the outside. Right, right. <laughs> someone made outside flavor. <laughs> it, it, it 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 also reminds me of uh you know of like my tennis game, right? You know, like I hate the way that i feel um i come across to other people i don't hate the way that i feel like when i play i hate the way that i feel that other people might see me as because i'm so competitive when like talk about getting sliced open like when you're in a when you're in the heat of battle or a competition or something like that with with somebody like you don't have time to think your, your elephant just comes out like so if you're an aggressive person, you're an aggressive person. If you're if you're an emotional person, if you're a, a lost individual, if you're 
if you're uh, like, you know, somebody that, that breaks down and gets angry all the time, if you're like, like talk about like, you know, uh, a couple, a couple of reflections down the road from this one is, um, uh, you know, uh, this book that I read called Levels of the Game by uh, John McPhee. It was um, uh, the, 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 the reflection we're going to talk about in like two more, two, sometimes this week, it'll be, uh, um, you know, tennis is a, is a battle of characters. I mean, really is what it is. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a battle of your elephant. Like it just comes out like what, whoever you are, what you get sliced open all the time on a tennis court and it just comes out. So like when I'm on a tennis court, yeah, I might, I might yell and get frustrated and, 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 and fight, but I'm a fucking fighter. Like, I mean, like I, I'm, I will not give up. Like you will, I, I will never quit when I'm out there playing. Like, and, and it's like, it doesn't matter. You think you have me down. I'm going to keep battling. I mean, you may have me down, but like, I'm still going to keep fucking battling. Like I, I, I don't care how frustrated I feel. I don't care how, you know, un un you know un to the outsider you know you're like oh my god just stop chris just like it's not a big deal it's not a big deal it is a big deal to me like i want to win i want to not not to win i i, I want to be my best that i can be right and i and I, i'm a perfectionist like in that regard you know i'm, I'm not trying to be perfect with every shot but i'm like i want to be able to do what i know that i can do you know and if i can't do that then i get really frustrated about it right so my, my point being is like tennis is in a perfect example of of like what gets you know who like Novak Djokovic is, is somebody that he's a dick. I mean, like, you know, um, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. He's just an asshole. Um, uh, he's, he is a, a, a laser locked in focused asshole. Um, uh, he, so much so that he beat a 20 year old um, uh, from the U S in the semifinals of the U S open. His name's Ben Shelton. He's the first year out of school. Like he, he was uh he was a college student last year and he won the national title at Florida at the, for the Florida Gators um uh as a the number one singles player for them and obviously he's a really talented player but he's really young and immature he's nowhere near like carlos alcaraz is also 20 but he's like you know light years ahead of like he, he's already plays like he's 35 or something like that ben shelton mm-hmm. plays like a 20 year old and like and he made it to the semifinals of the u.s open and he's playing novak djokovic novak djokovic beats him um uh, and and ben has been doing this stupid little like you know childish thing it's stupid it's childish but this is what gets when he gets when he gets sliced open, this is what he does, right? He, he's he's a competitive guy, I guess, or something like that. And he likes to, you know, egg on the crowd. I don't know. Like, he's he's maybe he's a showboat. I don't fucking care. Anyway, when Ben gets sliced open, he kept doing this stupid little, like, uh, after he would beat somebody, he would go call him and he would hang up, right? Like, uh, like as soon as he would win his last point, he'd be like, and walk into the net and he's like, hang up. So Novak, <laughs> who's, won, who's won 24 major titles, the most of all time, you know, playing a kid in his first, you know, long run, extended run in the Grand Slams, Novak beats him pretty easily in the semifinals. And as he's walking to the net, he goes like to the kid. And I'm like, man, like there's no, I mean, you want to talk about like what gets revealed when you're, when you're sliced open, when that guy gets sliced open, it's nothing but like, I'm going to kill you. Like, I mean, like you, you, like, I don't, I don't like that guy is a stone cold assassin. Like, I mean, like, I mean, I, there's no, there is no feeling or remorse. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, by the way, to be crystal clear. All I'm saying is, is like, like, this is what happens when you get sliced open. Like you see me playing. I would love to change that. I'm sure if you ask Novak, like away from the court, do you, do you, you want to treat a 20 year old kid? What if that was your son, Novak? Would you treat your son like that? You know? And, and, and like he would go. And the thing is, if, if you, if you really are that, yeah, yeah. I'll treat my son like that. He, I, because if, if I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole. Isn't right. it's like, oh no, or oh, oh, you know, you 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 go, you come down, and you know, the before they say, hey, you know, you that that to this young kid, you know, you think that's appropriate, you think that's you know mature, you think that's like, yeah, that's yeah, a hero. Yeah. And the thing is, people say, oh no, no, I'm uh, I was I'm sorry, you know, blah blah. blah. It's a heated moment, blah blah. A bunch of bullshit, right? To hey, you, that's <laughs> to me. It's like if you truly know who you are and you want to review yourself to the world. It is who you are. That's the thing is when your rider isn't taking the rein. That's what the elephant does. And that's who you are. A lot of times people get, kept the elephant in check. They have this rein on, on the elephant and keep pulling it, pulling it. And so, you know, a lot of people say they go to a public uh, event and they, they behave differently, right? They put on a show. And right. and it's not it's not like they're the only one. It's like 99% of the people that in the world is, are put yeah. on a show. I don't. I'm not even sure there is like the 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 one percent that don't want for it. Maybe some some people like right? even you and I are on on that trend. I mean, even you of and course. I yeah. are still not completely out of our 
you know, encrusted shell of. Oh no, I don't even feel close. I mean, I think I think I'm probably. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to I'm break loose of it. 30, but I'm, 30, I'm still... 30%, You know, like I mean, like like for sure. Yeah, like, I mean, there, there's so many times. Thing is, I I am I'm saying all this shit on on this this podcast, and I'm posting on YouTube, and I don't want care if anybody look, but I'm not gonna tell somebody straight to their face right now about hey, you know, this is what I think of you. Right. You know, what I mean, and so I still have to. You know, exert some willpower. Uh, you know, uh, radical the- candor is tomorrow. By the way, uh, I just I I just verified this. Like <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow is is radical candor. So we can we can we can talk about that 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 topic tomorrow. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, which, will be, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, no, I I agree with you. I mean, it's it's um, I do think, but so, but, okay, I, so, but yeah. I cannot continue to be the aggressive person. I have to go back. That's why I don't yeah. go out to the public too much. And talk a lot because to me, I probably talk to you in one day. I probably talk more in one one hour than my whole entire month uh, interacting <laughs> with people outside. Because you know, I right. probably give them a one or what answer, yes, you know, no, yeah, okay, or something along right. that line. And right. I mean, I don't talk too much because I like I gotta said, be, I have I days. have I have to put on this 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 incredible you know flavor of whatever people think i should be i right. can't be myself and to well, me did... to me that's exhausting yeah what, if you, what if you just did to... i do sure. i do i do yeah. eventually but the other thing is i i have been conditioned for so long right you have to imagine like probably over 40 years of of training right right uh to be this you know, Parmesan cheese encrusted, you know, <laughs> person. And right. everybody said, hey, you know, you're a Parmesan cheese kind of guy. Now I say, like, hey, you smell like curry. Like, what the fuck right. is going on? <laughs> it's like, oops, I need to put more on. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, and, and, and people are going to get a shock, right? Yeah. No, I, and then, I, and then I, the I, thing is, it's not that, and at the, you know, at the moment, I don't really, care about the shock itself but about the the repercussion of the shock right because right now if i were to review myself that i'm not this parmesan encrusted you know flavor garlic uh, flavor and people can get shocked and then the repercussion is they're gonna ask me why and then they keep a conversation going which has would make me have to continue to 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 communicate and engage and that's what i don't want <laughs> so right you can find out but I don't want. To, I don't want to have to answer you. Just think whatever you want. Make assumptions. Like I say, for me, most of my life, if you if you make a wrong assumption for, about me, I would not correct you. I would not correct you. Right. I, seriously, you can you can say whatever you want. You can see more of it. I would. Not, it's not my job to correct you. <laughs> I mean, that's that's fair. I mean, I I would. That's not who I am, though. Like I would. If, if somebody didn't understand what I was trying to say, I would just give them more context and I would give them more explanations and more explanations until finally they'd be like, okay, Chris, I get it. Shut the fuck up. Like, you know, you yeah, know, I, I don't, mean, like, I, I'm about the opposite. So yeah, if you, if right. you misunderstand yeah. me, I mean, if you ask, I'm willing to give you the answer, right? I will tell you what I want. I, I, I have, you know, in my head, but I will not correct you. If you have a wrong assumption, <laughs> it's on you. Right. <laughs> like yeah. I said, p- p- people make a lot of assumptions. Right. And, and okay, it is what it is, but I can't correct everybody. It's not my job to correct everybody. And it, it, and the thing is, if it's not what I want to do, I think it's going to be so much work. It's like eating a frog every day for someone else's sake. It's like right. buying a Tesla, buying a car because someone else, you living so for someone else, you're not living for yourself. And to me, yep. eventually it can, you cannot continue to go on with that kind of facade. It's funny. It's funny you're saying this because uh, it just makes me think about work all the time. Whenever you're doing this, because it's like there's just so many there's so many aspects of this job that I have I do have full control over um, of being my norm my elephant, you know, and 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 being in that zone state. But then there's mm-hmm. like it's it's probably like seventy five twenty five where like the twenty five percent of stuff that I just have to do that I don't want to do, um, and like I am the worst, like 
employee ever when it comes to that 25 percent. like i am like i am like i was just put i was just trying to put luca to uh to, to bed earlier or my wife was putting him to bed and we were he was trying to, i was trying to get him to clean up his mess in this mm-hmm. office we were, we were up here playing around in the office and he has like a little um like a little kitchen stand over here um like down there mm-hmm. uh, um uh he you know takes his little basket and his and his all the little fruit things in there and he just he just starts chucking them all over the place and throwing them everywhere around my office and you know just it, fine whatever having fun no big deal well he, it was time to go to bed and i was like hey it's time time to clean up you know and he was like no and i was like i was like okay well you know like i you know we ended up having like this 20 minute long like discussion of of you know clean up and and you know do this or not or whatever like help me like you know don't you want to help your dad like whatever anyway like i'm sure you've been down this road a million times with your children um uh so as i'm as i'm trying to you know um put him put him uh, uh to sleep um uh oh my god what were we just talking about right before this you mean oh oh being at work it reminded um it, re- it reminded me of um uh like like this is this is how i must be like you know with <laughs> with like with that 25 percent of the work time you know that i mm-hmm. do and stuff we were like, Chris, just do this. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. You know, and they're like, they're like, okay, man, chill out. And I'm like, I'm not chill. I am chill. I'm not doing it. Like, and then they're like, you got to do it. I'm like, fine, I'll fucking do it. Fine. I'll fucking do it. You know, like, but I'm not happy. Like, you know, like, I mean, this is, this is kind of how I am with like, like, like the 25% of the time in my work where I don't want to do this stuff. I'm, I'm the worst. I'm like, a, I'm like a, I'm like a two-year-old child, you know, where it's like, ah, no. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying is, like I said, you know, when when um, you were born, right, you have a certain characteristic in in, in traits that uh, exudes who you really are. That is like nothing is impressed. That's who you are inside. It's on outside. But yep. the parents, the first enforcer to to conform <laughs> to the little, society to <laughs> right yeah. we are we are the parents to me is probably the, the most terrible boss they are yeah they, they really are like I, right like, and you yeah. think hey you know I, i'm doing this for your own good is are you are you doing it for my own good or not that's why that's, that, that's why we that's uh, why we i said before is you know the devil doesn't know he's a devil <laughs> that's that's so good because you're mm-hmm. you're so right um it, you just reminded me of um where, what was this book Oh, come on. I got to find it. Hang on a second. Is it not? Did I not do this one? Like, is this been, this has been done after? Oh, come on. Shit. I think, I, I think this is, uh, oh, I got to find this. Hang on. Find. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Where where is this book? Hang on, I oh I can't remember it. Um, oh the the nurture or something the 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 nurture assumption. Um, uh-huh. uh, uh, so um, that that was what this book was called. Okay, we we uh, you're gonna have to remind me again. What we, we were just because I this was it was in my head and I. Uh, <laughs> parents at the, oh, the worst the par- oh, the par- yeah 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 uh, yeah so um this 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 book i thought this is what i this is what i thought right I, I said i'm nothing like my parents right like so um uh this book is about the idea of um uh your the nurture assumption meaning that we think as parents like that that everything that we do is actually going to like hurt our children and like fuck them up like we're going to just we're just awful horrible people like yada 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 it was um this book was like no that's not how it works they were like your the peer groups is 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 really where you learn everything from and and i and i agree um like because i'm nothing like my parents like i mean like it doesn't matter what they tried to do or yes early on like you know we do we do add that first layer of parmesan crusting or whatever but really it's the peer it's your it's their peers that 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 form who they are. <laughs> um, like, I mean, it really is. I mean, like without a doubt, I mean, you've probably seen this with your, with your, with your children, right? Like, I mean, like you, like, do you think that you had any bearing on this stuff or do you think it's their peers that hang out with every single day? 
I think it's both because it, the parents is the one that put them on a certain path because I, I can I can condition my kids to be certain thing. Um, the, the reason why I said that because yes, in, in the American society, American culture, we raise kids different than the Japan culture. And Japan culture is like, hey, you know, you 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 do this, right? In Japan culture is you don't think you don't think anything for yourself. Right. Everything you do is for someone else or for the society or for the family, right? Like they also jump is, off of buildings uh, because yeah. they're, you know. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is they, they are conditioned to be different, right? right. right? Because if, if you live, if you live, let's say I, I, I move you to Japan, right? Yes, you're talking about the peer group, but the peer group in, in Japan is different. So right. you're going to have to make, to make the best of what you got there. So you're not, you're not going to be able to choose the best peer group just because like say, hey, this is who you are. I'm gonna nav- naturally gravitate toward the best peer group I, I can be. But you think about in Japan, the culture is completely different. And if I were to be in a a, a military family and I move my, uh, I have station, I have to be stationed in, in Japan, and I move my my family there. Yes, my kids can choose the peers, but the peers is limited right. to that's what you can choose, right? Yeah. And so that's what I'm saying is, you're, you're, in, in a way, your elephant has a certain range it can change but it can't change that much so like i well, said the parent the parents has the first the first influence on how yes. you turn out but that's only when they're with you like you i mean you know that right like you don't know how they are when they're with their friends correct but you can you you can because the thing is most parents in the, oh, in I'm, america i'm different i'm different with my parents and i've always been no 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 no, no no i'm just saying is the, the way i see it and the way I see it is because most uh, kids in America, they don't stay with their parents that much. You see Luca early in the morning and after he goes home yes. a few hours a day. Right. He is going to be spending the majority of his time with his peers and with people that are strangers to you. Therefore, mm-hmm. he's gonna, not going to be like you. That's, and that's the reason. Okay. Uh, no, the thing no, is, no, I'm, I'm not saying... True. Not, not true. So so this book, like you got, you should read this book because like even even kids that are with their parents all the time and like you know this the, they studied no 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 like, like tribal, it's not tribal, about what you know no, it's not about and... what no uh, it, it, the thing is what i'm saying is it's not a hundred percent about how much time you spend time uh, with if i am this is what i'm saying this is why i bring i bring uh up the culture in japan the culture in japan is that they force a the kid like I say, you you tell Luca to go to uh to bed and and you not play on his kitchen anymore, right? Right. They discipline them different. The way that you enforces the rule creates a different kid, right? If you spend time, but you don't say, hey, you know, do whatever you want, or you yeah, you you watch TV or whatever, you let them have the freedom. Right. Then yes, they go on to gravitate toward what they need to be, but. If I'm a fucking asshole of a parent, I beat my kid up, right? I drink all the time. I beat him up. Do you think he's gonna grab it? He, he's not gonna be influenced. So there's there's a there's another book that we that we did um, a while back the um, the the drama of the the, the drama of the uh, uh or what is it called the something of the something of the drama uh, of the the drama of the the something child um uh, i i can't remember the, the title um something tra- something drama <laughs> uh what, what was the title uh the, dra- the drama of the gifted child that's what it is um so the the drama of the gifted child is all about what you just talked about of like parents talk about tiger wood right because yeah, his yeah, parent, but, he, like tiger yeah. wood andre agassi I mean, the thing is yes his parent control him and make him play tennis yeah, so yes, he turns like, out different. So I'm saying is you can fuck on... up. You can fuck up your kids really, really, really bad if right. you traumatize them, right? Like yes. So I that's agree. what I'm saying is you now it, it all depends on the parent too. So I'm not saying it 100 percent is a parent. So right. if the parent is like, oh, I'm I'm not going to like in, enforce my will on on you and and let you be who you want to be, yeah, they're going to they're going to have less of an influence. But if I were an asshole, like I say, I'm an asshole and I wanted you to be next Tiger Wood or the next, you know, Michael Phelps, right? Go fucking swim. More swim. More, one more lap. Blah, 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 blah. So if I do that, right, you think that he's going to not be influenced? 
That's what I'm so, saying is there, so, there so, so back to what I'm uh, my 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 original answer is is yes and no. It's both right, both it has influence on on you. So it's not just nature itself, not just the, the not the environment itself. Um. Uh, Todd Todd Marinovich. You, you ever heard of this guy? Nope. Um. He's a he's a former quarterback. Uh. Played at USC. He was drafted in the first round. He played for the Oakland Raiders. His dad, when he was growing up, um, uh, literally, his dad Marv, <laughs> um, mm-hmm. uh, saw this um, opportunity to use techniques focusing on speed and flexibility, and later formed the modern basis of of modern core training. Uh, so during her um, during from from, from from the beginning, from his birth, Todd Mar- Todd Marinovich's dad Marv. Uh, um, he said some guys think the most important life in their jo- uh, thing in life is their jobs, stock market, whatever. To me, it was my kids. The question was, uh, I asked myself, was how would I, how could I develop a kid if you provided him with the perfect environment? He literally, like, did ever he he trained his son from birth to be a pro quarterback, and Todd Marinovich um, was like the perfect quarterback. Um, in high school and in college, and he ended up being drafted. And uh, there's this thirty for thirty on ESPN about this guy. Um, mm-hmm. and, um, uh, and then almost instantaneously when he made it into the NFL and he no longer had his dad, like drilling into him every single day, just like, just like Andre Agassi and all that other stuff. Right. You know, you see this all the time with like, like tennis kids, you know, and stuff, but like, this is, from, this is from, this is from birth. <laughs> yes. He was like, fuck it. I'm finally free. He became the biggest drug addict bust ever. Like the guy just was like, a you know, uh, yeah, he, he was, he had a well-documented intense focus in his training as a youth athlete and a, and a, um, a brief career in the pro leagues, but he, you know, cut short because he was. And it's come back to the, the question again. You cannot continue no, apart. Yeah. to, 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 to hold on this public facade about this right. perfect quarterback, the perfect career, this perfect life, right? Like, I don't yeah. fucking want that. <laughs> uh, it was the, uh, the 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 the, uh, the article that was like made him famous was Robo QB the making of the perfect athlete. Um, mm-hmm. So Ro- Robo QB was his nickname, and uh, um, you, you got to see this thirty for thirty if you've never seen it. He's like it's it's fucked up. I mean, it is like it is fucked up. Like I mean, what his dad did to him, like in terms of like how how badly this kid was just so. He had no he had no he hadn't he didn't know who his own elephant was. He was like he was just literally and he ne- and he never did. He, never well, he eventually figured it out in the show on the 30 for 30. Like this is like when he's like 40 that he's on there. And I think he's, he's been strung out, not strung out, like homeless, not homeless, whatever. Now he's like on a good path ish. Um, and, uh, um, uh, what should and you do now? Uh, I don't know. Um, legal troubles. I don't know. Uh, Uh, it's been sober since 2016 and I don't know what he's doing I think he's probably a football coach or something now he's playing for the SoCal Coyotes at uh, at, at 48 years old I, I don't know I mean it, it, what a test tube QB first half is uh, anyway, it, it, it I'm, there's a million articles about this dude. Like, so if you, I, I don't know what he's doing today, but yeah, here's the here's the Robo QB, uh, you know, whatever. Look at all these pickleball paddles. I've been researching pickleball paddles. I just bought a new <laughs> one. I, 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 this is, I think, this is bad. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. My, my point, the point is, is what I was sharing with you is, uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's both nature and and nurture um but i think it's really your peer group and nature i don't think parents as long as they don't fuck you up it depends on your chance this is a probability because like i say if if i belong if i was somehow belong to tiger woods dad right i'd be playing golf yeah but that doesn't mean that like like i don't know that's not actually true i mean like yes and no because andre agassi didn't choose tennis until andre agassi chose tennis he chose tennis eventually um uh and, no, no and... but but the thing is the thing is that, that's why i was asking about Todd, uh because i'm asking him what is he doing today so is he doing today because of what he really yeah found who he is 
Right. And that's what he wants to do, or is because this is just a residual of what made him who he was, and there's nothing else he can do. Just like you're talking about, like the uh, you know uh, Neil Armstrong and 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 Bud Aldrin or whatever. He comes back and say, "Well, what the fuck am I doing right now? I don't know what to do." Right. right. And so right. not everybody gets to find who they were originally made for. Like when you were right. born, you made for something. You would crushed it so much that when the shell get open, you don't know who you are anymore. Right. Right. You know, I don't, so that, I don't know. I don't know that you ever had a chance to even form form who you that's, were. Like, that's what right. that's what I meant. Because the thing yeah. is it, it, it fucked you up so much that you forgot who you know, it's like for even for people who retire, like they work so long that when they retire, I say, Hey, what do you like to do? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. I don't. Oh, I, I, I've done some sales, so I'm familiar with sales. So I'll probably do something in sales. I, I like golf. I'll, I'll play golf once a week. You know, <laughs> like, but, but that's what I'm saying is, you know, it's not really because when you find your uh your core values, that's who you are. You do that like every single chance you get. It's like, hey, t- hey, Chris, you know, I'm gonna play tennis once in a while, right? right. If you had the chance, you'd be on the court every day. Am I right? If That's what I'm saying could. is when I mean, you it, love something. Well, actually, I can't say if I could because I could. Like, that's, that's a good, I, I don't know. No, I can no, answer no, that no, question. No, no. Let me, let, me, let, me give, let me make this, this clear. If you have a magic wand and you wave everything, there's nothing. No one's going to tell you anything. You don't have to worry about Lucas. You're going to have to about Felicia or anything. They are all with you without any any conflict you're going to be on the court 24 7 whether whether you be watching or sitting around talking to buddies or playing poker around the tennis center and then go play whenever your your arms is is up to par blah blah blah. but you're there all the time the reason why you're not there all the time is because yeah oh i have to pay for the mortgage oh i have to go help uh felicia with putting luca at the bed i have oh i have to you have to uh Take look at the soccer practice. Oh, I have to. Do... So these are your duties. Yeah, urgent, uh, that, uh, urgent and important activities. Right, Quadruple. but, but if, if 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 I were giving you much one that everything is taken care of, somebody's taking care of it, and Felicia's and and your your uh, Luca, Luca is all you know, you know, kind of like rooting for you to be there to to live your life, and you know that's if I can give make that happen, you be there all the time. And that's my point is whenever you have something that you really want, you can be all of them because that's who you want to be. You want to eat the cake. Let's say, let's say if, if I had a bottom of the stomach, right, I would be eating the cake all day. I mean, if you're enjoying chestnut, <laughs> if you're enjoying <laughs> chestnut, you're going to literally eat 80 hot dogs or whatever the hell. It's like, how do you do that? And why do you want to go back? Like, I don't get it. Like, I mean, I would be like, I'm done, man. I can't eat anymore. Like, what are you doing? Like- no, for me, for me, that this is who I am. It's like, right. I, the thing is my stomach won't let me, but my, you know, my, my mouth likes to eat. Like yeah. it, it, it doesn't stop. I right. don't have, I don't have that, um, um, that chemical that they, 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 they stops you from eating. It, you lose your appetite. I don't lose my appetite. I don't. Good. <laughs> That's why I have a problem with diabetes because I don't, I don't, I don't have that the, the the turn off switch. Right. So the only turn off switch I have today is I have to portion my my food. If not, I I eat until, but my stomach gets you know because the thing is the only you're, thing to stop me is, you're, is it sounds like you're making it sound like you're like a dog you know where they just eat until they they eat everything they can eat and then they're like Bleh, you know <laughs> like, well, I I don't throw up but my stomach no, it, it, my stomach is like. Oh, I can't move anymore, and that's why I say, "Hey, I can't eat anymore. I have to stop right. eating because my stomach hurts more than 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 the." That's, the, a, that's, the... A, that's what I'm saying. A dog, a dog will literally go like if you if you if you put a whole turkey mm-hmm. in front of them, they'll and then they'll eventually just be like they'll walk around and like because <laughs> they're, they're right, just, right, right, right. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, and that's what I'm saying like, is if enough. if I have bottom of my stomach, I'll be eating nonstop. Right. You know what I mean? Because that you are who you are, right? right? You, you, but if you say, "Well," I'm gonna do some of these things. So you you may have some overlap in some of those activities, but it's not not the core of, you, of what you want to do. That's why you do it only once in a while. Hmm? If you like something, you're gonna probably do it every day. For sure. And, I mean, and, I, I, and, I, I, and that's I, what I'm saying is if, if you if you take I mean, so long, a doubt, man. 
the, you the, take so long to get on to get out of that encrusted breaded flour crust you may lose your identity and you don't know what you want to do because you know what do i do right so you're going to have to do the self-exploration all over again and sometimes you may find it sometimes you don't a lot of people when they get to that age where when you are so you get a certain um age you just don't have the time and you just don't you just don't find who you want to be and you still be searching and by right. the time you finish searching like you know you you know, your your time on earth is expired that's really sad and right and and, and, and and that's why I, I that's why i was asking you you know what is todd doing today is he doing the thing he loved that's what he does every day or he's like yeah i'm coaching oh yeah i drink some beers when i go coach whatever then then is it you it's an escape it's an escape yeah oh yeah i mean that's it, why he started it's not drugs. who you he didn't know what to do i mean he didn't, right he... and so the thing is when we people were so much pressure when they were young and then when they were finally free they did the opposite but the opposite is not necessarily the right directions the opposite no. is like hey i'll do what the fuck i want and i'm gonna do drugs i'm gonna experiment and everything and sometimes you went down the wrong path and you get stuck right right so the the opposite of what you you had isn't the right way, right? It's not it's not like a kind of environment where it has only two directions, you know, left or right, right? When you don't when you go left, you go right, you go in the right direction. But in the wicked environment, is you have multitudes of directions. <laughs> I I, rem I, rem I remember why I even brought this up in the first place, and the whole Todd Marinovich, uh, the um uh. The key, the reason why I was bringing this up in the first place is the the, the lady said in this in this in this uh, book, um, there if there's one thing you can do good as a parent, um, uh, where, did, where where is this quote? Shit, it's uh, I'll have to look it up, but it's something along the lines of there's one thing you can do as a parent that will be good for your children. That I that I loved the idea of this is watch what they love to do, and then make sure they can do more of that. Like you know, just just observe what they like to do. Like Luca still picks up his pickleball paddle. He immediately comes in. He's like pickleball, 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 pickleball. Like let's play, let's play, let's play. Fine, I'll play with you. I mean, if you want to, if you want to play, I'll go play with you. I just so happen to like it, like it and, and can help teach him and whatever. But this is what he likes to do. Like, and I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not gonna not do it. And then th there was there was about for two months um this this like like this this started about like six six eight months ago and 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 we were we were going strong for like for like four months where he was like he was obsessed anywhere he wanted to go he wanted to pick a ball in his hand and he wanted his little paddle uh and um uh and then for like two months it seemed like it seemed like you know he just started to go play with his sink his little his little toy sink that he has and he put you know he's doing dishes and whatever and the paddles just all sat lonely by themselves in the corner with their with all the the bin full of pickleballs and whatever and anytime i would say hey you want to play pickleball he's like oh, no no you know i'm like yeah. oh okay all right you know and then all of a sudden like about a month ago he was like like he's all into it all day long again now and now he now he wants to play even more and more you know um and it's every day it's i want to go to the courts i want to go to the courts i want to go pick pickleball 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 and i'm like okay fine but like i one of the things that i've you know I'm not going to force him to do anything. Right. But like one of the things that I, you know, loved about this, the, the nurture assumption book was, you know, she said like, if you want, if you want to be a good parent, just like watch your kids, you know, and, and see what they naturally like, you know, and if they, and then, and then encourage them to do more of that, that's it. Right. Like, cause you can't like, to your point, like, like they don't know yet, like, but they're forming for some reason, their elephant is, is drawing connections that, that, that is their red threads, you know, that are pulling them. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this is, you know, this is, what would be revealed when they got sliced open when they're young they don't have anything to be revealed yet you know like they right. are they, that's a review that's oh, why i right, think when right, you're yeah. born you will reveal and then you right. will encrust it and then that's why that's why it, it, it's 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 fitting to say hey when you slice open it's like well meaning you are covered with something <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to 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 and, and whatever you we see on the outside isn't the same thing on the inside that's why well, it, could be. it could be it could be but the reason why like this book say, you know, what 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 will we reveal when you were when you are sliced open means that hey, people are assuming that everyone has an outer covering. Right? That most of the time, 
We don't know what's inside. We don't know for sure what's inside. We don't know right? for sure, yeah. yeah and and that has become the norm. Right. That's why people, you know, can relate to it because people know that, hey, you know, I, I look like this, but inside I'm different. He looks like that, but inside he's different. It's, and it's, we it's, know it's, that, and that becomes the norm now. Right. It's and so that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying is when you were born, you don't have a covering. You're not bred it. <laughs> you're completely bred it. As time go by, you start with your parents, you you have bred it by something. Hey, don't do that. You know, do this. You know, you you know, do whatever. You didn't go to school. Hey, don't do that. Do this. You go to work. Don't do that. Do this, right? Right. And then, you know, on and on and on, right? So you 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 cover and you get a cover and you get a cover and you get a cover. It's like there's so many layers of you. Right. That is not you. Yeah, and they don't even know. Yeah, I mean, like the like it, but and that's why I, I, in, yeah, or, in order for in order for people to know who you really are inside, they have to slice you open. <laughs> and hence the word, you know, what will be revealed? It's like it's a mystery. What will be revealed when you're sliced open, right? And people right. people understand what we're saying is what will we reveal when you say everybody understands that. And that becomes a norm so much that it's in the mind of everybody. Yeah. The um all right, this is my final thoughts. I gotta go to bed. Uh, um, but uh, uh, it reminds me of um, I wrote I wrote about this in the, the I Can't Imagine book. Um, uh, a, a good friend of ours named Brian. He um, uh, he he's the husband of one of my fraternity brothers, uh, who's a good friend of mine. His name's Mark. Um, and uh, Brian was one of the people that came over to our house for like the first time that we had friends over um, about a month after Amelia had passed away, and we were just all kind of just getting together with our normal like little dinner party crew that we've had always gotten together with and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, and I, after, after Amelia had passed away, um, uh, you know, a couple of weeks later, you know, obviously a bunch of people reach out all the time and, you know, trying to, trying to, you know, support you and be there. And like Mark and Brian were, were very supportive and very nice, you know, great people. Um, uh, I remember responding back to them with like, like, something along the lines of yes we lost amelia but like i was incredibly grateful for the time that i you know that we had with her and and um and you know and she's the most amazing person i've ever met in my life and you know i'm gonna and, and i can't wait to do whatever i can to to try to honor her or whatever something something along those lines right you know um and brian you know is a is a pretty emotional person um sorry that's not that's not fair to say I, I'm also an emotional person. Brian is a different person. He's a different person than I am, right? So sure. he he expresses his emotions differently. That is when I was being sliced open, how I was revealing that. I wasn't trying to, it wasn't a, it wasn't a show. Um, right? Okay, it's uh, not in your mind. What's that? Okay, it's not in your mind. Right, yeah. I mean, it's, you, not, yeah. You, that, know, that, okay, that was, you, have, you have something much, much more significant and important to focus on. So you, yeah. you don't until your rider ain't, holding the rein of of the elephant right and the elephant I, I, just does what it does i, I wasn't trying yeah i wasn't i wasn't so that's what i'm saying is you know when, when you're on like, your deathbed right your, your your rider ain't holding the rein, so you're right. gonna do the thing that you are made to do so same thing with, with you is when when you when you're in that that state of like completely blank and confused you, you your rider ain't making you do anything your elephant is acting on its own he's just right walking the way that he thinks he knows how to walk and this is truly who that person is in that in the, in that state yeah i mean 100 percent. so i like the response that i sent back to them brian brian sent a response back um that was i think his elephant coming out which is great mm -hmm. I, I this is one of the reasons why i like brian as a human being because he was like he challenged me and he was like hey just so you know it's okay to feel like you know like you know you don't have to be like like a strong soldier or something like that it's okay to you know well i forget exactly what you said something it was mm -hmm. something along the lines of like you know it's okay to be sad like in and 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 you don't need to right you don't, you don't need to put on a brave face all the time and and like and it kind of it kind of fucked me up a little bit because it was but to be fair it was his elephant talking to my elephant I, I i think we were both saying you know things with love like and i and like and and it wasn't i wasn't mad about it or anything i'm not mad about it now i'm just i'm I, it was more of one of those comments that caught me off guard where i was like man that was that was such a such a i mean i appreciate that brian knows himself to be able to feel courageous enough to say that 
like, cause I mean, to, to, to a certain extent, I appreciate the challenge. Cause one of the, one of my values that I found later on was I, I love a challenge and I love to be challenged. And I love uh, to challenge the world around me. So if somebody wants to challenge me, then that's fine. Like, I mean, I, 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 I embrace that. Um, but, but point, the point of why I'm sharing this is, is like, like you, each person handles things completely differently. And, and, uh, um, and it's, it's, it's okay. Like, I mean, like there's no, there's no, like, you know, there's no right way to do something. As a matter of fact, there's, there's an infinite number of ways to, to do anything. Right. But, but I think, you know, whatever. It's only think, one way. It's only one way. But for that's, you, for, exactly. for you. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying uh, is, right. I mean, I can't say what is right for me is going to be right for you, but it's only right. one way it's right for me is my way. Right. Right. My way for me, your way for you. To me, that's it. You, you don't bring that thing to another another person and say, hey, you know, do this and you're going to yeah. have the same result. It's not because you're not the same. You're not even twins don't have the same genes. Right, right. Well, I mean, it, they, it, they're supposed to. <laughs> it's like that uh, that love and workbook, um, you know, with his, um, you know, audible or audiobook reading description and giving mm -hmm. advice. Like, um, I, I did this. I fucking did this on Sun Saturday, True. Um, so for me, what I tell myself these days, because I try to make, uh, when I, before I play a tennis match or a pickleball, like a serious competitive pickleball match or a tennis match, I try to tell myself three things and, and, and it's, and it's to make it as simple as possible for my elephant, for my rider to get the fuck out of the way for my elephant. It is like in between each point, it's, it's, it's be aggressive. It, Cause this is what I'd like to be. I like to be aggressive. It's be aggressive. It's focus on the next point, forget all the other stuff and have fun. Like these are the three things that I tell myself, like whenever I get like stressed and I'm a little, little, like, you know, I can, I can feel the, the thoughts drifting to like, am I going to win? Am I going to lose? Am I pissed? I'm mad. I missed that shot. Fuck this shit. I'm mad about what, like I go before I, before I play the next point, it's, it's, you know, stay aggressive. It's, it's, it's have fun and it's focus on the next point. Just that's it. Right. You know, like, and this is what I tell myself and I, my partner and in, in my pickleball tournament, I, I came out and I told him this before our first match, like, and I, and I was like, I was like, this is what I tell myself, like, you know, like, you know, and, uh, and, 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 and I think it fucked him up a little bit. Like, I don't mean that, like, I don't think it was, that's not him. Like, you know, I, he needs to tell himself whatever the fuck he needs to tell himself. <laughs> like, like not because like, because like, that's not me. That's not, I mean, sorry, you're not me. Like, I mean, like I need to stay aggressive. You need to be who you need to be on the court because that's why we're a partnership. Like, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't care if you're aggressive. I need to stay aggressive. Like, cause if that's, if I'm not doing that, then, yeah. then I'm not being the person that I want to be, you know, and I'm not going to play the way that you need me to play in order for us to have success. So like, I totally did this whole entire thing where, you know, the whole, you know, audio book, you know, uh, explanation to my partner. And I just, and I'm just now realizing what I just, what I just said this um, just now. And I'm, and, and, and it's like, God damn it. Just stop giving people advice about how to be themselves. You know, if you, if they, if they ask for like, how do I do something like that's one thing, right? If you're like, if there's a, if there's a, a kind environment where there is a clear way, you know, to be better in this kind environment, you know, um, to do this technique over this technique. And you want to mm -hmm. share that with somebody that's fine. Like, you know, but like, but like, everything else like fuck you like you know like i, I gotta figure that shit out myself like and that is that is all on me that is my job right like i have jobs like and that is my job right um so yeah. anyway all right that was my final thought i because I, I gotta go to bed um any final thoughts <laughs> that's it you know you 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 got to be who you are to have a joy enjoy a joy joyful life whatever, whatever that word is right <laughs> I mean, it, it, like I say, I cannot pretend to be somebody and hold my tongue in people's presence. I, it's just exhausting. And I that's why when I go out to people, I go home, I crash. It's so much work is being done by by my internal, you know, person. I have to pay him with whatever. Exactly. Um, it's, it's exhausting trying to not be yourself. That's what, that's what it comes down to. Yes. yes. Um, uh, so thanks for joining, um, tomorrow, uh, the question we can leave for you all is what will be revealed, um, and you when you're sliced open. Uh, well, when you are, when you are, should be when you are, your anyway, whatever. Um, and <laughs> join us tomorrow for radical candor. Uh, it'll be a, it'll be a fun conversation about a, about a topic that is, um, near and dear to our hearts. So, uh, We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it should be exciting. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay. See, see you. Ya. Good night.